Hello Masoka Universe. Finally, I got this beautiful shirt. I'll show it to you more in the video tomorrow where I do unpacking. Um, I'm getting another parcel tomorrow, so then I'll show you this one. Finally managed to get uh, to meet the seller of this shirt. Um, I wanted to ha I actually contacted him two months ago, <laughs> almost. No. I finally got it. I'll show you a little, little bit more. It's not all perfect, but we'll get it uh, there. But it was perfect because uh, I was a Turin Derby, uh, Turin Derby um, tonight, and this was probably the, uh, at least name-wise, the best game uh, of the evening. So I sort of watched it, but I also was writing a post on the current Columbia home jersey, which you can already find on my blog, which I really think. At the S of now, I think this is the this will also be the new Arsenal away jersey because it looks like the Bruce Banana kit. Um, enjoy that post. I had some fun writing it, but it also meant that I didn't follow that game closely. I didn't make any notes this time around. Um, I, I will do this only for important games from now on. Well, the derby, I can tell you, the story was that uh, it was on the around the 70th anniversary of the Superga disaster. I think it's called Superga. Uh, I think that the comedy is Superga. If you know more, please let let know. I would always say Superga, where the great Torino side of the 40s um, crashed into this hill atop of Turin. Uh, there's a basilica right below and the whole team vanished. Also the entire Italian national team, I think there were nine Italian national team players, uh, crashed in that uh, disaster. Of course the big name was Valentino Mazzola. Uh, his son became a star at the Grande Inter of the 60, 60s. Um, probably a defining event because at that moment Torino was had the upper hand and ever since Juventus is the better team. So there you go. Uh, but befitting to this anniversary and even the Juve fans in second have uh, honored the dead of this uh, disaster, which I found is a, good, is a great gesture because it really shows that uh, this was something that um, affected all of Italy and Torino uh, especially. But you know, all Italy was kind of uh, hit by this disaster it was right after World War. And kind of this Grande Torino side was one of the big spectacles of the time that everyone could hold on. It was actually a derby where, for a long time, Torino could hold their own against the big city rivals, and it certainly helped that you were already the titles in the bag. Um, and Torino is having a good run with a uh, really in contention for the top four spots. And they showed that they are dangerous and they also had very good tactics. They're kind of making it hard uh, for Juventus by standing deep and compact in the center. And, you know, Juventus didn't take it all, I, at least I feel didn't take it all that seriously, despite it being a derby in the first half. And actually Torino took the lead uh, just at the time when Juventus was about to get a little bit of grip uh, of the game. Uh, a throw-in to Pjanic, who was actually the last in line, which I found already a little bit uh, weird. He completely misjudged it and Lukic just overruns him and puts it into the net. He even would have the option below to the right to slot it into the net. So yeah, 1-0 and then Juve was certainly shocked and you could see, I mean, it was Ronaldo who tried to grab the game by himself and get something uh, going, didn't quite manage it. And so, um, yeah, there was a lot of precision missing for Juve and actually Torino, I felt was the better side in the first half, even if they didn't have the more of the game, but they were the better side in the first half. Um, and Juve was a little bit uh, lacking cohesion, precision, and all that kind of stuff. Second half, Juve out came, came out angry um, and really put it to Torino. But Torino really held on, defended well. Yes, there were chances. There were crosses in left, left, right, left, right. Um, but most of the time it was not connecting. And I have to say that, uh, especially Moise Ken, was almost a no-show. It was mostly Ronaldo who... Um, 
dominated the game. And just at the time when I think there were two or three chances even then for Torino, uh, really close calls. Uh, if if there is a serious mistake happening, Torino makes it 2-0 and that game is done and dusted. Um, but it didn't happen. And in the end, it is a cross that hits Ronaldo, who, you know, goes uh, up a story and heads it home and at this, at this moment I was hoping that the, even Juventus gets the winner and this is weird for me and because you know Torino is in this battle for fourth spot that I have two other teams that I want to get this fourth spot namely first of all most Milan and second of all if it's not Milan I want these guys I have another scarf I should do a video on my scarves uh, maybe when I'm done with jerseys, I'll do scarf videos because there's enough to show as well. Uh, so those will be my two teams. And usually I like Torino in this derby. At least these days that Juventus is winning it all. Um, I love the Torino jerseys too. Um, I actually thought it was weird that they, uh, they play with black socks. I have to check if this is the regular look. Um, but you know, as the smaller team in the derby, uh, there's always slight more, slightly more um, sympathy towards them. But then, you know, Juventus, especially now that I'm wearing this shirt, the Juventus shirt, at this time Juventus was probably my second favorite team in Italy. Uh, they keep falling, falling, falling. But at this time, I have a story to tell. Later, later. Juve gets the equalizer. I wanted them to get the winner. Uh, it almost... You know, chances were there, but also Torino was in there. I think that 1-1 was a deserved result. It was actually quite a, a nice game, good derby. There was some uh, heat in there. Everything that you want to have from a derby was in there. Other games. I just see Mainz Leipzig played a 3-3 draw. I haven't seen the highlights. Uh, I know that Leipzig was ahead 2-1 at halftime. I'm just looking here. They had an... Um, they made three one right after the half, and then in the 83rd, uh, Mainz equalized. That sounds like a fun game. Uh, I saw uh, the goals of Everton Burnley, which both uh, happened in the 17th and 20th, so very short succession. The first one, nice shot by uh, Richard Lisson, uh, that got deflected by me, and then the goalkeeper had had, had no chance. It is counted as an own goal because if the deflection would have happened, the goal, the shot would have gone wide. So Everton submits its case for best of the rest. I think they have a heart, um, a long way to go. And then the results of the evening where you say, what the, you know what? Sevilla Leganes nil three. And it was even deserved. I saw, I again, I switched over after the tour, tour Turin derby. Uh, and I saw the third goal. Uh, before that, Sevilla already 2 0 down, um, hit the woodwork, but not. Uh, was more like on the top edge of the bar. Then I watched the goals, uh, which happened, I think, in the 8th and in the tw around the 20th. Yes. Um, uh, and Nasri, um nice shot. I mean, uh, very poor pass from Promise, quick uh, out of his own half was intercepted right at the midway line, ball comes to El Nesri, who can stop it and put it nicely into the net. Uh, really nicely taken, and the, then the, uh, the second one by breath weight. Um, you gotta watch it, it's a throw-in that comes in, he takes it with his chest, turns around, puts it in. Easy. And at that moment, absolutely deserved from what I could hear. So yeah, Sevilla doesn't want to finish fourth. Sevilla is, reminds me a little bit of Milan. Uh, Inconsistent, but they play better than Milan. If they play well, Sevilla is a fun, fun uh, team to watch, but super frustrating, super inconsistent. Uh, but that maybe is also fun. Uh, another one, Strasbourg, Marseille 1 1. I uh, didn't see anything from there. I see Germain puts Marseille in front in the 47th, and then Lala in the 65th equalized for Strasbourg. And that's basically it for tonight. Well, Tomorrow, more games will be interesting uh, to see a little bit more. I'm not sure how much I will actually watch because I'm the whole Champions League took a toll on me. But there will be, I will make a um, video, unpacking video, show you a few new jerseys, including this one a little bit more. Okay, 
Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.